so guys right now we are in unreal engine version 5.0.3 so in this video, I'll completely describe you all the rendering methods for realistic renders. Also, you can call this as a high quality renders right from the scratch. First of all, most of the beginners what exactly do when they're starting the Unreal Engine for the first time. There are mostly two types of rendering. One is the sequence based render and second is all about the movie render queue. So let me show you the sequence render first. To get a sequence based render, first of all, you need obviously a scene. So this scene I have created earlier and the tutorial will be coming on next week on this channel. So go to Windows, wherever you can find a place actors panel. Over there, you can type a camera. Also, you can just simply go to this camera render button and you can find this Cine camera actor level sequence, anything. So you can take Cine camera actor right from here and now you can see this. So if you want to snap this view to the camera, just simply right click and you can find this snap view to the object or snap object to the views just click this so now this is your camera view so just close this and you can simply go to your camera so this is your camera view so now you can move the camera everything whatever you want to do so guys i'm not showing all the camera details here because this is a rendering video okay so first of all you need to create a level sequence to create a level sequence first of all you need to click here and you can find this add level sequence just simply click here and let's name it to tutorial and then just simply press save it so it will directly go to your content browser and you can find this uh, kind of timeline so after that just simply need to drag your cine camera and to here okay that's it so after that in the sequence based rendering you just simply make an animation just like take a keyframe go to the last frame and just simply you can do whatever animation you want to do just like this and take another keyframe and that's it your animation is done so whenever you play this is your basic animation so what happened when you render this so first of all to get a sequence based render you need to click this movie scene capture legacy so when you click this option this render movie settings option will pop up here so basically what you have to do just need to change your format so here png is by default set if you have any audio specifically you can turn on the audio so currently i have no audio so no audio then this is all about the frame rate and after that the resolution if you want to make it to 4k or any other custom resolutions you can make it from here also there are a lot of advanced settings i'm not going this in depth and then the output directory you can save your own files after that file format name this is all like normal and after the end of this you can just simply check your frame range and whenever you're happy with that just simply press capture movie so after that you just press save selected and the capturing will be starting from here so now whenever you see this capture is started okay so i'm just close this because i want to show you something so this is your render from your sequence based and now you can see there are a lot of you can call this as a jitter or low pixel ratio but whenever you saw an unreal engine it was fine but you can see this the renders are not that up to the mark so what exactly happened with this so let me show you the advanced rendering process right now now for the movie render queue first of all you need to go to edit and you can find this plugins where you need to search on movie and then render so you can find this two option movie render cube and movie render cube additional render passes you need to check this too so whenever you check this you have this option called uh, restart your render engine just restart it and after that whenever you close this same process you need to create a camera so i already have created an animation so let's jump into that tutorial this is my level sequence here so this is my previous camera so let's delete this and let's import my previous camera simply drag and drop into here so this is my previously created a camera with a depth of field so right after that i'm just creating a basic animation just go to last frame and i'm just simply move it in this axis and just simply make it down it's uh, done now we need to change some basic settings so first of all click here and go to movie render cube option and just simply click here so this is basically everything so first of all if you don't find this you can simply click render and you can pick your level sequence here so it's already selected here so if you click this output directory it will exactly uh, just jump into your output directory where exactly you want to save so this is the settings whenever you click this these settings by default will open so right now we are not required any jpeg sequence so simply press delete next you just go to the settings so where you can find this many options so this is obviously pretty uh you know the annoying after watching all the settings so just pretty simple just click this anti-aliasing 
this is a game changer after that you need to select your format so here i'm selecting the png sequence format and then just jump into anti-aliasing settings where you can find this many option just simply override anti-aliasing settings on and make it to none now after that click this temporarily samples count where you can increase it 128 256 whatever but for safety purpose 64 is pretty decent and outputs are also coming pretty nice and you are almost good to go just simply press render local whenever you place render local one next window will pop up here and you can see this window will exactly your render window where you can see the frame rate is zero from 150 frames and engine warm up so now what exactly have them each every frames like each and every frames will calculating 64 times sub samplings to get your footage more clear and also more realistic let me show you the recent renders from this process so this is the first plate which i have created with the movie render queue option now you can see the details there is no jitters all the details over the depth of fields are exactly clear so i have already rendered out a few frames let me show you that in after effects so this render i have graphed from movie render cube from the unreal engine with the help of this process now you can see the depths that everything is pretty pretty clear and all so if you do a color correction after this it will become a really good output so inside of lumetri color corrections mostly whatever you do we just go to this creative panel now this is a green scenario so we need to create the shadow color to be a little bit of green a little bit high now see this is more greenery right now also highlight should be a little bit warmer so just make it a bit a warmer tone and then make it a bit faded and vibrance should be a little bit higher slightly okay after that just contrast a bit high and the shadow should be a little bit down now guys you can see the outputs are looking really really amazing so guys, okay, that's it for today hopefully you really enjoyed this amazing process of getting a high quality and also realistic renders from unreal engine 5.0.3 hope this video is helpful for all of you if yes press the like button subscribe to our channel vfx wall my name is Richard. see you in my next video till then signing off